Last player. No way, dude. Uh, fuck yeah. it. Good shot. Okay. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. These videos are from my daily streams over on Twitch. If you haven't already, join the Discord below. Subscribe, like the video, and if you want to support the channel even further, check out the merch down below. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, if you guys can't uh, tell by the title, this is going to be a how to fix screen recording video if you are on PC playing Valorant. If you guys don't know what screen recording is, it's basically when you're playing the video game or you are uploading it to YouTube or editing or anything like that and there's any fast movement, the screen will tear and overlap and the lines won't be either horizontal or vertical anymore. And it's, you can tell, but I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my Valorant settings. And I'm gonna be showing you what you can do to fix it. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys have not seen my setup video, please go and check it out. It's on the YouTube channel. It's one of the first videos I posted. So if you guys wanna check out this, this is how to fix screen tearing with the dual PC setup. All my settings are on high. These are my settings. These are what I have. I have a 360 hertz monitor, uh, which really obviously doesn't matter, but I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video while I uploaded a 360 hertz monitor highlight video with chamber absolutely insane of a character and uh then I, in a video probably tomorrow i'll go over my uh, crosshairs and what i use for that so uh, but with that being said let's get into this video so the first thing you want to do is go down to your desktop and you want to check your settings so this is my desktop as of right now you want to go down to display settings and go and have uh your monitor set to one and two set diagonally if you have obviously your Elgato 4K in your streaming PC, or just your normal Elgato, it doesn't really matter. But you want to be sure to copy my settings exactly how you see them. And then for you, just the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and um, show you. Oh, I got a driver's update. I'm gonna have to do that, brother. Uh, I'll go to display settings. You go over here. Make sure this is set to extend these displays on set one and two because basically what you're going to be doing is screen capturing your elgato recording the game and that's going to allow it not to screen tear if you just use your elgato you know in 4k high rendering quality settings it's just it's not going to work so what you want to do is extend these uh things go to advanced display settings go to display one have it as your gaming pc not your elgato and then down here is going to be your refresh rate for that set thing so the elgato you can set it to 120 i have mine to like 120 right now instead of 240. <clears throat> the display settings i guess i'll change my uh webcam over here real quick uh 360 hertz will be the refresh rate for uh the option number one or whatever your monitor is then go to display two and change your refresh rate i have it set to 120 because i record in 4k for all my youtube videos instead of 1080 240. So that's what we're set up down to here. So the settings don't necessarily matter. I just want you guys to copy these settings. And instead of going left to right with two being kind of like vertical with this, um, I don't recommend it because it's easier to lose your mouse. So if I go and I scroll my mouse wheel downwards, it's going to go into my other computer, which is my recording streaming PC. And that's basically capturing that. And you don't want to do that. So I can show you what that looks like but you're going to see two cursors and it's going to look a little confusing so let me go to my other computer and here's my other computer so this is the elgato 4k software that we have on my streaming setup on my stream labs my discord my music my thumbnail for my next call of duty video on my main channel if you guys want to check it out uh so that's what i'm working on right now right so this is the elgato this number two right here is on my gaming pc so if you scroll this is and this is the mouse on the gaming pc the one that's moving down right now so we got one and two. If you move it down, you're going to move into the Elgato and you're going to lose like the mouse. You see the mouse is right here now instead of it being. Oh, shit. I lost it already, dude. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, my God. OK, so you don't want to do that. That's exactly why I have it down on tier, oh, like down here instead of left and right. It's easier to lose it. So again, here are the settings. You can copy that. That's what you want to do. And when you move down, you want to go and you want to install OBS on your gaming PC. Again, this is my gaming PC. If you guys uh, are having a problem with a single PC setup, this video probably isn't for you. So you want to install OBS on your gaming PC. You want to go to scenes. You want to go and make a display capture, make a display capture. And when you make that, you want to go to full screen projector. And instead of having it set to this, change it to the 4k 
uh, Pro Mark II. This is the Ogato or whatever Ogato you have. Now, if you want to screen capture like I'm doing as such, you want to make a scene for a display capture. If you just want it to be gaming, you can go gaming and it's going to be a black box until you open up a game and it's going to show nothing but the game. So that could be important for bigger streamers or someone who just doesn't want to link information or show anything on their desktop. That's what you would like to do. I personally like showing people on my desktop just in case I'm eating food or watching YouTube videos. I don't care or th that's what we're doing. So I usually just keep it on the scene, but I do it on both. Uh, so that's how exactly you do it. You just right click, do that full screen again. And you got to switch it every single time. So again, if you want to switch it to game capture, you got to click it, do it, set it. Now it's game capture. Now it's black. You can't see anything unless I open up a game. And now we're going to full screen 4K. Click it again. Then it's going to go back. Uh, I, I've done this on accident. Don't do this. If you do, do this, it's going to make your PC look absolutely insane and bonkers. Uh, if this happens, don't lose your cursor. Just go here. Do it again. Click it. You're set. All right. With that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support and everything. I hope this helped out. And uh, one of the biggest things that you can do is uh, definitely comment down below if you guys have any questions, if this helped you or anything like that. I mean, I try to make it as simple as possible. But again, if this is just a uh, dual PC setup for you, then it's going to hopefully work for you. If it's a single PC setup, I uh, try not to comment in the video or anything because I might not be able to help. But with that being said, Hope you guys have a beautiful, awesome day. We're on the grind on making YouTube videos uh, for Valorant and uh, Vanguard. And if you guys haven't checked out my main channel, uh, definitely go do that. It's Joseph Powell OMG. This is my uh, Valorant channel. I'm basically just uploading Valorant content. But that being said, I love you guys tremendously. And I will see you guys in my next video. Oh my god! Good. I have some. Uh -uh. One enemy remaining. Nice. Oh! oh. Nice. Oh my yeah, god. I think it was just take time, but. I If you win this, you get a super surprise. Oh, oh. One enemy remaining. <laughs> They're all inside. I know that. Out of, out of range. Teleport ready. You should have made it on top. Oh, I like it! <laughs> One enemy remaining. Heaven. I mean, do you have it?